Hello everybody and welcome back to the planetarium. My name is Jonathan, this is our science kitty Minerva, and together we're here this week to talk to you all about the upcoming occultation on Friday. That'll be June 19th, 2020. And this occultation is a pretty interesting event. We'll be able to see Venus and the Moon right next to each other in the sky. It's going to be really pretty and very visible, as both these objects are rather bright. Now, an occultation itself is where one object is moved behind another object. In this case, the moon is essentially passing right over our view of Venus. So from our perspective, Venus will be hitting completely behind the moon's disk. And... Around moonrise on Friday, June 19th, it will actually slip past the visible disk of the moon and we'll be able to see the planet once again. Now the exact moment when Venus slips past the moon will happen right around moonrise. In fact, it'll happen a few minutes before moonrise here in Alpina, so unfortunately we won't be able to see that actual event. However, from our point of view, we'll still see Venus really close to the disk of the moon. And without even having to search around, you'll see the bright morning star of Venus right on top of the moon itself. It will be very visible, very interesting, and very beautiful to see. Now, this is so bright that you won't actually need optics of any sort. That means no telescopes, binoculars, spotting scopes, anything of the sort will be needed. Because these objects are large enough and bright enough to where our naked eye can actually catch them. But if you do have any optics, it will certainly make it a bit better to actually observe. You'll be able to see more details of the craters on the moon's surface. And you might even be able to catch some of the atmospheric clouds swirling around Venus. Now, the only downside to this event here in Alpina, or pretty much anywhere that it's happening, is that, well, to see the occultation, you have to wake up really, really early. And that's because moonrise is happening around 4.37 a.m. on June 19th. And the sun will be rising shortly afterwards which means that we won't have a lot of time to actually see this event. However, if you're still interested in observing it, head down to the lake right around 4.20, maybe 4.30 at the latest, and cast your gaze towards the northeast and wait for the bright planet Venus to appear above the horizon, where it will be shortly followed by the moon. If you want to read more about this occultation, or if you just want to see whether or not your vicinity of the country will be able to view it, check out the link I posted in the description below. There's an interesting article from Space and Telescope magazine that talks all about this really cool event happening. Again, to catch it, it'll happen on June 19th, that's this Friday, at around 4.30 a.m., depending on where you are in the United States. All right, everybody, that's going to cut it for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. Me and Science Kitty Minerva are both really, really grateful. If you take any pictures, make sure to post it to our Facebook. I've left a link below in the description and maybe even a pop-up around here somewhere. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch more of our content in the future. Until then... Keep your eyes on the stars. Whatever, you didn't do it.